All right, so in this video, I'm gonna cover what your options are if you're self-employed. So if you have a regular business, this doesn't really apply to you much, okay? Now, for self-employed, there are only a couple of things that are kind of different. If you are self-employed but have employees working for you, then also listen to other videos in the in this mini series. So there has been a lot of uncertainty about the amount of the PPP loan that can be available for you. Um, and they've kind of settled it uh, um, at the taking 2019 net Schedule C. So Schedule C is a schedule in your tax return, 1040, is your form. And then Schedule C is one of the schedules attached to it. Um, so you're taking line 31 on Schedule C um, and dividing that by 12, multiplying by 2.5, that's your maximum loan amount. Now, you would pay yourself... Um, let's say every two weeks, if you do get funded, or when you get funded, you would pay yourself every two weeks, let's say, or every 15 days, um, a portion of that monthly average. Okay? Um, you have eight weeks from the date of loan funding, according to the latest SBA um, stuff. Now, Another thing that's applicable to you, if you're not eligible for the loan or if you're kind of concerned about the, the forgiveness of it, do apply for unemployment. If you watched my unemployment video, I kind of went to cover, uh, went on to cover, it's for New York only, but I believe the this new program, the Pandemic Assistance Unemployment or whatever um, it's called, is available across the nation, I believe so. Um, now, so if you're self-employed, back to that, you there is this, a little bit of a confusion in terms of, so you would calculate your maximum PPP loan amount, um, and you would pay yourself, but then technically you're eligible to pay some rent and some utilities. I wouldn't necessarily pay personal rent at 100%, um, like I've mentioned in my other videos, but I would probably pay a portion that is up, at, attributable to your home office, for example. If you have a real rent, if you pay, uh, if you pay um, for a studio or another space or whatever, definitely is eligible. Uh, you're eligible for that. But keep in mind, for forgiveness purposes, up to twenty five percent of your loan amount can be for non payroll. So just make sure that you've kind of followed that. All right. Um, so right now, tax law advisors are saying wait for additional guidance. So I will send updates on that once I once the guidance is available and is analyzed by tax law experts. So that um, right now, there's no consistency in terms of or rather clarity in terms of what you should do and how you should spend the money in during those eight weeks so that it's definitely forgiven, okay? And um, I believe that's it for the self-employed folks. So your options are PPP loan, um, unemployment. I um, highly recommend you looking into the unemployment first to see if you can sustain yourself on that money. And... Um, Take a look at my other videos relating to the PPP loan details, well, new details, let's put it this way, and uh, the forgiveness um, details too.